Did you know that the United States government is increasingly relying on commercial satellites for intelligence and communications? In fact, it's been called the new space race and Russia is taking notice. Recently, a Russian delegation attended a meeting of the Outer Space Treaty's open-ended working group, OEWG, to discuss the implications of this trend. So, what exactly is going on? And what could happen if Russia decides to start attacking commercial satellites? We'll explore all of this and more in today's video, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Commercial satellites are playing an increasingly important role in U.S. intelligence and communications. In the past year, the U.S. has relied heavily on commercial satellites for military and civilian purposes. The rise in the use of commercial satellites has been driven by several factors, including the increasing availability of high-quality imaging and communications capabilities, and the need for more cost-effective alternatives to traditional government-owned and operating systems. In recent years, the U.S. has been using commercial satellites for surveillance of Russian military activity in the Russia-Ukraine war. This has led to increased tension between the two countries, with Russia accusing the U.S. of violating its sovereignty. If Russia were to start attacking commercial satellites, it would be a major escalation of the conflict. A Russian delegation made a statement on Monday, September 12, at a meeting of the United Nations Open-Ended Working Group. The statement said that Russia might start attacking commercial and private satellites. This would be done in order to prevent other countries from using them for military purposes. The Russian delegation to the OEWG meeting expressed concerns about the increased use of commercial satellites for intelligence and communications by the United States. They said this could lead to a violation of Russian sovereignty and the Outer Space Treaty and threatened to start attacking commercial satellites with Russian military vehicles if the U.S. continued its surveillance activities. This would be a major escalation of the conflict and could lead to serious consequences for both countries. The Outer Space Treaty is an international agreement that governs the use of outer space. It was signed by the United States, the Soviet Union, and the United Kingdom in 1967. It has been ratified by over 100 countries. The treaty prohibits the placement of weapons of mass destruction in orbit and bans military activity on the moon and other celestial bodies. The treaty also declares that outer space is a common heritage of mankind and should be used for peaceful purposes. The use of private satellites for military purposes is a controversial topic and there are no easy answers. The Outer Space Treaty, which is the primary international agreement governing the use of outer space, does not specifically address the issue of private satellites. However, the treaty does state that outer space is to be used for peaceful purposes only, and that all nations must refrain from activities that would cause harm or damage to other countries' satellites. This leaves an open possibility that a country could argue that the use of private satellites for military purposes may or may not be violating the Outer Space Treaty. If Russia were to start attacking commercial satellites, it would have a major impact on the global economy. Private companies rely on these satellites for a variety of purposes, including communication, navigation, and mapping. Without them, businesses would be seriously disrupted. This could lead to a significant decline in trade and commerce, as well as a decrease in the overall efficiency of the global economy. Additionally, it would create a great deal of insecurity and instability worldwide. Countries that rely heavily on satellite technology would be forced to increase their military spending to protect their assets, which would further escalate tensions between nations. Ultimately, an all-out war on private satellites would be devastating for the entire world. The potential consequences for Russia if it initiates an attack on satellites could be disastrous. Not only would it be viewed as an act of war by the United States and its allies, but it could also lead to a space race that would be incredibly expensive and dangerous. Additionally, it could potentially damage or destroy many of the satellites that are used for communication and other vital purposes. This could create a major disruption in global communications and other areas that rely on satellite technology. If Russia were to attack commercial satellites, the United States would likely respond with a mix of diplomatic and military options. On the diplomatic front, the U.S. would put pressure on Russia through international organizations like the U.N. The U.S. would also work with its allies to impose economic sanctions and other forms of pressure. The U.S. could launch a counterattack against Russian targets on the military front or try to disable Russian satellites. The U.S. might also consider using cyber attacks to disrupt Russian operations. 
Ultimately, the U.S. response would depend on the severity of the Russian attack and the goals of the U.S. government. There are a number of risks involved in a conflict between the United States and Russia over commercial satellites. First, there's the risk of escalation. If the U.S. were to launch a military attack against Russia, Russia could respond with an even more aggressive counterattack. This could lead to full-scale war between the two countries. Second, there's the risk of civilian casualties. If Russian satellites were to crash down to Earth, they could cause extensive damage and loss of life. Third, there's a risk of an economic recession. If commercial satellites were destroyed, they could disrupt global trade and communication, causing a severe economic downturn. Finally, there's a possibility of other countries joining the war on either side, and this can complicate things and potentially lead to a nuclear war. If the conflict between the U.S. and Russia were to escalate to the use of nuclear weapons, it could have devastating consequences for the entire world. There are several reasons why attacking commercial satellites is not a viable option for Russia. First, it would likely provoke a strong response from the United States and its allies, which can result in an all-out NATO-Russia war. Second, it could damage Russia's own economic interests if international organizations imposed sanctions in response to the attack. These sanctions could have a significant impact on the Russian economy, as they would make it difficult for Russian businesses to operate internationally and for Russians to access international financial markets. In addition, the U.S. and its allies might also expel Russia from international organizations like the U.N. This could further isolate Russia diplomatically and economically. Third, Russia would risk losing access to vital satellite services if the U.S. decided to disable Russian satellites. The U.S. could choose to disable Russian satellites in order to prevent them from being used to launch attacks on American or allied targets. This would deprive Russia of the ability to use satellites for communications, navigation, and intelligence gathering. In addition, the U.S. could also use cyber attacks to disrupt Russian operations. This would make it difficult for Russia to coordinate its military forces and could lead to serious confusion and chaos. Instead of attacking commercial satellites, Russia could pursue a number of alternative options that would be less likely to provoke a response from the United States and its allies. Russia could choose to negotiate with the U.S. and its allies in order to reach a diplomatic solution. Alternatively, Russia could work with international organizations like the U.N. to try to resolve the issue peacefully. The war on private satellites is a conflict that could have devastating consequences for the entire world. It's important for all parties involved to negotiate and work together to find a peaceful resolution. If Russia were to attack commercial satellites, it would likely provoke a strong response from the United States and its allies, which could lead to an all-out war. This war could have catastrophic consequences for the entire world, including economic recession and potentially nuclear warfare. Therefore, it's in the best interest of all parties to avoid escalation and work towards a diplomatic solution, as it's certain that no matter which side wins the war, planet Earth and humanity will eventually be on the losing side.